Hello, this is Mr. Chavry, and we are here with the next episode of the Ultra Sun playthrough. So, question of the day, what is your favorite normal type Pokemon? Um, I had to pick, I really like Megalopony. Um, that one would probably be my top favorite. But anyway, let's hop back into this game. So, Rockshaw is still up front, and I think that's a good idea. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, do we already battle this guy? I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he wants us to defeat every trainer on Route 3 first, so we can do that. Do you battle? Okay, so I guess not. Um, This is Route 3 right here. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. And I'm hoping in this episode we get another member of our team so if you're excited to see who that is um go ahead and leave a like so let's go ahead and battle this guy we got rock shot front and rock shot is pretty good against this growlithe so pretty good match off uh, matchup right away so just rock throw this should do quite a bit almost takes it out actually so that's pretty good Um, Rockshaw is getting to where uh, he can fight on his own. Blowpoke's 14, that doesn't matter. Confusion? Sure. I mean, I'm not really going to use it. But, might as well give it confusion. Alright, so three trainers we defeat, we get Roost. And Roost would be really good on our uh, Robin. Get a nice super potion. Can't walk that way. Just looks like you should be able to. But we're still here. This guy doesn't battle. So this is... This is a different route here. Yeah, this is back at Route 1. So, there's two other trainers up here somewhere. I would like to battle them. Berries. Let's grab some berries. Citrus? Citrus berries are pretty good. Chesto? And Pekka. And there's an item here. A nest ball? Nice. All right, we'll come across an encounter here. Um, let's see what it is. Spiro. Eh. Um, just run away from it. You don't need to catch a Spiro. That means there's some more trainers here on this route. And I'd like to battle them so we can get Roost. And that's the only person we've battled so far. So they have to be over in this little um, area here. Right? We got a Soothe Bell. Mm. I like a Tauros. He said there's some more battle trainers on here, didn't he? Oh, so it's just one trainer. I just assumed that he said three trainers. Because Route 3. I I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, that's... There's only one person on Route 3. Well, this person's got a slow poke. And... Rockshaw. Even though I've got Rockshaw up front, I'd like to switch into my Robin. That's what I want to do. Yawn. Alright, I've got Chesto Berries, though. So Chesto Berries would be pretty neat. Um, I could just hit it with a Razor Leaf. Two hit KO, it looks like. Looks like I'll have to use a Chesto Berry, though. Uh, 
Uh, sleepy time. Alright, come on, Robin. Yes, alright, we didn't even have to use Chesto Berry. So, we've got a Chesto Berry for the future. Um... Butterfree? Yeah, we'll go into Rock Shaw. Because a Rock Throw should destroy this Butterfree. Yeah. Let's hit it with a Rock Throw. We've got Silver Wind. It's kind of like Ominous Wind, but the Bug Type version. Wow, that actually did a lot. No kidding, that did quite a bit. So we take care of Butterfree. We are at level 17 with Rock Shaw. Do we learn any good moves? No, not really, but we did good. So we get Roost here. Now Roost, I love Roost. It's one of my favorite moves. One of my favorite moves. All right, um, I want to heal up Rock Shop. All right, so we're going to get another um, member of our team. But first, before we can get it, we have to do a very specific set of things. So there's this feature in the QR called the QR scanner. Use it to scan some QR codes. Alright, so that's a mimic you there. Get some nice points. See, the QR code reader works a lot better than it did in Omega Ruby. I have to say that. It's an Omega Ruby. It was a pain. Just a pain to get it to read. Now it's... It just reads it very easily. Or Mimikyu, Stuffle. A Bagon. Bagon's a pretty cool Pokemon. Ah, oh, my finger. Ah. Um... This is professional. Just trust me, it's professional. Delmise. I like Delmise. Same exact typing as Decidueye. Alright. So 100. 100 points from the QR scanner. Now we can do the island scan. So, here we go. So hopefully we can catch this Pokemon and it will be a part of our team. Go ahead and put Slowpoke up front so we can yawn it to sleep. But Route 3, it's actually on Route 3 somewhere, so looking for it um I'm not sure where it's at there it is all right let's catch this thing let us catch this thing level 12 that's actually pretty good um yawn go to sleep it's faster too of course it's faster I'll probably have to hit it with a confusion I don't want to knock it out, but I think Charmander has better special defense than physical defense. So I'm going to just hit it with a confusion. Alright, I'm going to throw a nest ball, actually, I think. Let me just look at what the nest, nest ball says. Try it. I just gotta try it. Alright. Yes! Alright. So, Charmander. 
is now on our team. All right, so what shall we name Charmander? It's also a female. What's up with this? Every Pokemon I've got is a female. I don't know what to think. Um, I had some thoughts, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to find. Some, uh, Yeah, so, so far all of my Pokemon are females, so I don't know if this is just like some rare thing that's happening, but it's pretty cool. I wonder if all my Pokemon will be female. Let's go ahead and just glance at some of these things people have named their chairs. Um... Um, I still don't know a good... Um... Um... Alright, so I think uh, I'm probably name it after some goddess. Um and it has to be it should be a female one, so Let's do... So... I'm looking at Roman. Vesta, goddess of fire. Earth and... I'll go ahead and do that one. Vesta. Sorry, sorry it took a while for me to come up with a nickname. I just wanted to have a good nickname that I will be proud of. And Vesta's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that one. Alright, um, but we have a Charmander now. Check out Charmander. I think they have special moves, you know, if you catch them like this. Yes, Counter. So Counter's actually a pretty good move. Um... Especially if you have a um, Charizard and you give it the Focused Sash, but I don't have a Focused Sash, so I'll give it a Focused Ban for right now. It's risky, but I'll do it just in case I, you know, don't get knocked out by something. But here is the team right here. We have, um, we, we have, um, Robin, Raksha. Vesta. So, I think we're doing pretty good. We still need a Tauros to get some of these items. Our tricks. Rockruff and Charmander. And this Rockruff's following us. No Rockruff. We've already got our own Rockruff. Don't need you anymore. Um, I want to... Okay, what I want to do is train up Charmander a little bit. So let's go ahead. He'll give this thing a, an Awakening. I'll give it a Esto. But yeah, that's what we'll do. Give it a Chesto. And I bet I'll just put Esto up front.
We'll just go up here, I guess. Oh, Nebby's excited. Alright, so Hala is the fighting type. Kahuna. Is there a Pokemon Center? I'm going to go ahead and just use some of these, um... Potion? Just to top off everyone. Just to top everyone off. And I think we're fine. This person has a crow brawler, I know that. Oh, he has a crow brawler. I think type-wise, though, I'm going to go in with Robin. Alright, let's go and get ready to battle. Definitely. Alright, so here we go. The first Kahuna. Hala. Okay, so he's just talking to us about this. Alright, here we go. I don't know exactly what Pokemon he'll have, because he might have different Pokemon. He's got three Pokemon, alright. Machop is his first one, so that's alright. Machop shouldn't be too hard. Alright, Robin. Go get you some. Level 15. Just hit it with a peck. But people are watching, too. Alright, he's going to waste his time and go for Focus Energy. Which, after another peck, is not going to matter at all. Alright, perfect. We're already on a good roll. Almost leveled up, too. Makuhita. Do I want to try Charmander here? Um. Yeah, let Charmander get at least one hit on this thing. Just one hit. And then I'll swap back into Robin. Alright, Vesta. It's your chance. Alright, what I'd like to try is... Counter. Take out. Oh, so it's not going to matter. Now I'm going to have to switch then. Because I can't stand. Because looking at how much that does, it's going to knock me out the next turn. Sand attack. Okay, just peck. We're doing pretty good. Arm Thrust shouldn't do too much to us. Yeah, that's doing nothing. But it's probably a good good idea. I didn't go for a counter. Sand attack is really annoying. Okay, come on. Come on, Robin. Well, you're having a lot of luck here when you're playing these luck-based games, Hala. Your luck has ran out. Alright, we just knocked out that punching bag. And Robin's at level 19, so we are doing pretty good level wise. Foresight? Mmm, I don't need foresight. I like how it doesn't ask you again. For a brawler. Have to stay in. I'm going to hit it with a Razor Leaf. Alright, just one Razor Leaf. Come on. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. 
Whew, that did nothing! What I, okay, what I want to do is swap out. I'm going to let Slowpoke take some hits and growl. That way my dis my um, Dark Tricks will be back at base defense because these Leers are really scaring me. And also because um, I can get a workup. Oh, you have Pursuit. Okay, so actually I'm okay with swapping out and letting Slowpoke go down. Oh, you didn't go for Pursuit that time. What do you go for? Clear. At least he's not going for Sand Attack, you know? Sand Attack is like an annoying move. Alright, so... Z Workup. Oh, you've got a full heal there, Hala. Tell me, why did you go for a full heal? Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm, I'm back at base accuracy, so I'm okay with that. I'm at plus two attack, plus one special attack. I'm in position to destroy this Crabrawler. And I think this Razor Leaf will destroy the Crabrawler. Got Pursuit, Leer... Uh, what else does it have? It doesn't matter. It just went down to a crit. Nice. All right, we have defeated the first Kahuna. Vesta's at level 13. Nice. Well played. Yes, well played indeed. Tapu Koko liked it. Everyone's like, ooh, Tapu Koko's out there somewhere. Of course he is. And we get the fighting type Z crystal too. I don't think I've got any I've got Z counter. I could do Z counter. I don't I'm not sure what Z counter does right off the uh, right off the top of my head, but uh, it's something worth trying out, I would say. Nice. Put the Phidium Z away. Now we have the Melee Melee stamp. Yeah, we'll meet Tapu Koko someday. Oh, Tauros! All right, so this is where we get the Pokey Ride to. Thank you, Hala. I feel like they've added some stuff to this. Taros. I feel like. I feel like that, but here's Elima. Elima's watching. All right, see you, Elima. We got False Wipe, too. False Wipe will help us catch certain things. Like even even Nebby doesn't know what Hal is talking about. Alright. Yeah, they want us to take a photo. I 
guess they're going to go battle. But I guess we get to do photos. Go ahead and set it to this D pad. So now we can get some extra stuff. Now that we have Tauros. We can go to Route 1. I'd like to go. Oh, there was something this way. Okay, where is this at? Okay, so this just leads over there. Okay, and I can grab this now. A nugget! Nice! Nuggets will come in handy. Anyway, uh, look at this. We can, I'm gonna run back up here, grab this, uh, this um, TM that's up here somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Look, everyone, I've got a rampaging Tauros. Boom, boom, boom. Infestation. Interesting. And then there's that TM. Uh, I can run away from this. There's that TM back in the first uh, Verdant Cavern. I'll go ahead and check that out. Alright, Robin. Do what we should do best. Run. And I want to actually put um, Vesta up front. Because Vesta is actually really close to evolving as well, and that would be pretty nice. Having Vesta evolve. Sharp Beak, I could give that to my Dartrix. Make Peck a lot stronger, and I just got ambushed again by a... Spiro? Yeah, Spiro. Alright, Vesta. I want to Ember? Yeah, I'll go ahead and hit Ember. Vesta needs some experience. Yeah, I don't need to worry about Growl. Growl's not gonna do anything. But I want to get that TM before the end of this episode. That's what I really, really would like to have. I'm actually pretty close to it. Alright, so... Repel would be nice. Actually, do you have repels yet? Because if you do, I'll go ahead and get some. Not even the right one. This one's the one that sells repels. There we go. Alright, let's just grab this item, and then we'll end the episode with that. Uh... Alright. It shouldn't be... Too, it's gonna take us too long to get there. Uh, well, I mean, if everything's jumping out at me, then it'll take a while. But I mean, experience is pretty good for Vesta. I mean, Vesta's so close to evolving. Please, don't. Tell me everything doesn't use sand attack on me in here. I really don't like sand attack. So 
so close to evolving, though. Out! Outran that thing. Can't run across that with Tauros. Dang, there's like so many of these things where they're trying to break out and attack. Alright, so here we go. Thief! Nice! I could use that to get some items. But anyway, I think this is a good place to end this episode. The episode's getting kind of long. I don't want it to get too long. But anyway, we did quite a bit. We got Charmander in this episode. We got the Fight TMZ in this episode. And we are ready soon to jump onto the next island. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode of the Ultra Sun playthrough.